Whoever dies in this garment shall not suffer eternal fire. And that is from Our Lady to St. Simon Stock when given this devotion to Mary. Hey guys, it's Natalie Davina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the brown scapular and how you can enroll in it too. And I am a Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on apologetic things Catholics should know. And yeah, anything Catholic you can find here. So please like and subscribe down below so you can get more content like this. So anyway, today I'm going to be talking about the brown scapular. I had some people ask me questions on this and some personal questions on this I got asked. So I wanted to create a video that explained what this private devotion is. So in the year 1251, St. Simon Stock, well, at the time he was just Simon Stock, a Carmelite, was visited by the Blessed Virgin and was given this, this, if you can see, let me zoom in or focus. There we go. He was given a brown woolen um, scapular is what it's called, um, which hangs over your scapula. And some people call it a scapula, but scapula is actually the bone. This is your scapular. But anyway, he was given um, this announcement from Mary that this scapular should be a sign of salvation for the Carmelites and this can save them. Obviously, this doesn't save them, but through this, you get to Mary and through Mary to Jesus, this will be a sign of salvation. So at first, this devotion was just for those consecrated um, sisters, religious sisters, even to this day, in their habits, they actually have a scapular piece of garment, but it does not look anything like this. It's long piece of their clothes, basically. But um, the church later extended this to the laity where you can actually be enrolled in like the Carmelite order and you can wear this, the brown scapular, and, you know, have that salvation due because Mary um, promises things that are not just for specific people, but everyone has promised this. Um, we just don't accept it. So within enrolling in the brown scapular, there are three things that consist of a true devotion to the scapular, and that is veneration, confidence, and love. So basically veneration to Mary and our Lord, confidence in Mary that she entrusts you to Jesus, and love of the Blessed Virgin and of, of course, God. The scapular is known as a private devotion. That is why we normally wear it under our like clothing. I'm wearing it over it right now for the sake of this video, but normally you'd wear it under it like this. And yeah, basically it's a true devotion and it actually, personal testimony, it helps me a lot because anytime that like I wanna sin or something and I feel this like against my stomach, like and I just feel it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I'm literally going to be committing offense against God and my mother and I like I feel it like it reminds me for some reason in any time of temptation I feel it and not for some reason it's obviously Mary but I feel this and I'm like oh my goodness like I can't commit this sin with this on like this is protecting me and then it's like I'm just hurting myself with this on so it's a private devotion you don't go around and like guys like my scapular no 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 <laughs> private devotion that you have between you and our mother. A really, really, really great thing about this is that Mary promises to save the soul of whoever wears this um, from eternal fire. So this could either mean that she literally saves them from eternal fire, like they will go to heaven, like straight to heaven, or that their time will be less in purgatory if they still need to suffer some like just punishment for their sins. So their time will be lessened in purgatory. So it's like how we should pray for the souls in purgatory because they can't pray for themselves. Well, we're kind of doing like an act of penance by wearing this here on earth to shorten our time in purgatory, basically. Okay, now we'll, once you get the scapular, you need to enroll. So you can go to a priest and they can bless the scapular. First, that's a different blessing and then enroll you into the scapular. So those are two separate blessings, two separate enrollments, two separate things, entities um, for the scapular. So once you do those two things, you have to do a couple things um, consistently and perpetually, not perpetually. Mm, what's the word? 
every day, <laughs> I don't know, you have to do it every day um, in order to receive the graces of this. One is to obviously wear this, but it's not just wear it, it's wear it continuously every time you can. Obviously you can take it off like in the water or something if you want, but you might want to even wear it in the water if you're like so afraid of drowning or something. But um, so wear continuously and then second is observe chastity in whatever state of life so if you are married you know observe that sort of chastity if you're single observe that sort of chastity whatever whatever stage of life you are observe that state of chastity then the third has a couple of different ors you can do so one is to recite the little office of our blessed virgin mary every day or observe the fastings on Wednesdays and Fridays, the ones that the church teaches. Or with the permission of the priest, you can say, recite a five, five decade rosary. Um, or with the permission of the priest, you can substitute some other good work. So the two main ones that you have to do, you have to do chastity, you have to wear it, and then recite the little office. Um, and then you can do a bunch of those ors, but some of them, have to do with getting permission from a priest so yeah then people say to especially um the carmelites it is on their official website it says the rosary and the brown scapula are inseparable pray the rosary daily so that is actually going to be my um what's it called lenten lenten penance that i'm going to observe is to pray the rosary daily daily because i only pray on sundays and then i pray my chaplet every day but I don't pray the rosary every day and so yeah I need to start doing that so pray the rosary daily if you want to start start if you're already doing it amazing it's up to you and our Lord so yeah figure that one out <laughs> but yeah quick little side note there are other types of scapulars too there's a green one and a blue one I am pretty sure I don't really actually know the stories between them uh, but let me know what scapular you guys wear and yeah your stories about them. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below so you can get more content like this. And yeah, I love you so much and so does God. St. Simon Sock, pray for us. Have a blessed day, y'all.